गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लैमब्रास क्रोमोसोम एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो लैमब्रास क्रोमोसोम्स आर एक्चुअली जॉइंट क्रोमोसोम्स एंड यू विल गेट लैमब्रास क्रोमोसोम्स इन द ग्रोइंग ओसाइट्स दैट मींस द इमैच्योर eggs of most of the animals except mammals so you will not see lambrash chromosomes in mammals oocytes so who discovered these lambrash chromosomes uh, walter fleming in 1882 discovered lambrash chromosomes now let's see its features and how it looks like so lambrash chromosomes are actually very large chromosomes and you can clearly see them in the light microscope so you can check the immature egg cell and you can stain the chromosome and you can easily see them under light microscope and they are actually meiotic bivalents so what does that mean these lambrash chromosomes are formed during the diploten stage of meiotic prophase 1 now the thing is that this is the lambrash chromosome so this is the meiotic bivalent that means this is maternal chromosome and this is paternal chromosome or vice versa like this is paternal chromosome and this is maternal chromosome and each of this paternal chromosome and maternal chromosome contains two sister chromatids two sister chromatids here and two sister chromatids here since this is the chromosome that you can find in the diploten stage of meiotic prophase 1 the chiasmata is formed so you can see the chiasmata is formed that is the x shaped structure is formed uh, which helps in the crossing over so we know that crossing over occurs between two homologous chromosomes so these two or two homologous chromosomes one is paternal and one is maternal now the thing is that here you can see some loops are formed so if i zoom one such structure one such loop what we can see we can see that one loop is formed like that and another loop is formed like that okay so this loop is formed from one sister chromatid of paternal chromosome and this loop is formed from another sister chromatid of paternal chromosome so this paternal chromosome contains two sister chromatids and each sister chromatid forms one loop in each side so this is the case and this is the main axis of the chromosome that means it contains dna now why these loops are formed now there are many genes which are continuously undergoing transcription active transcription is continuously going on so those genes which are performing active transcription they need to be unfolded first because we know that uh, in order to perform transcription the dna should be unfolded first so that is happening here only and that unfolded part is forming the large lateral loops like that hence the chromosome looks like a lamp cleaning brush thus it is called lambrash chromosome 
right okay so the lateral loops are active sites of transcription we can say and lambrush chromosomes produce a large number of mrnas and non coding rnas which are synthesized on the lateral loops so these transcripts are used during oogenesis and at the early stages of embryogenesis so first of all in each loop you will get the dna the rna and protein now why this is important because uh during oogenesis it requires many proteins right and when the egg is matured enough then it is needed to be fertilized and after the fertilization also it requires many proteins in order to perform embryogenesis so overall it requires many proteins and in order to make many proteins many rna should be formed first and in order to make many rna the gene transcription should be happen first so if you we talk about the function we can say that they can be easily isolated from the oocyte nucleus with the forceps or needle so if you want to study the lambrush chromosome you can easily isolate them since the size is very large so you can use only forceps and needle and you can isolate them and they are useful in studying the chromosome organization genome function and gene expression during meiotic prophase and if you want this particular node to collect so what you can do you can check the description box and the pinned comment i hope you like the lecture thank you